Unpopular opinions. Oftentimes we keep them to ourselves. Oftentimes they come out when you're drunk at a family dinner. I learned that one the hard way quite a few times. I asked you guys on the community tab of my channel to send in your unpopular opinions. And if you're not subscribed, you wouldn't have seen it. So make sure you go do that now. Chuck on the notification bell if you're feeling generous. A lot of you sent in some shit. <laughs> heaps, there's heaps. And you guys did not hold back. I'll just preface this entire video with that. Just strap yourselves in, put your little boots on, chuck your sunscreen on and a wide brim hat. It's a scorcher today. <laughs> Let's have a dive into this. 2020 wasn't the worst, all things considered. I think that is absolutely an unpopular opinion. My first reaction is that I don't agree with that, even remotely. But, but maybe remotely, I don't know. In the grand scheme of things, I guess there wasn't a world war that broke out. There was, however, a very deadly pandemic. Um, Trump didn't get voted in. He actually got voted out. That's one good thing. Yeah, I guess some good shit happened. I don't... How do you quantify the worst year, really? I don't know, but this comes fucking close. Christmas is not even allowed to exist until December 1st. I don't think Christmas should be allowed to exist until Christmas, just on a personal note. The hoo-ha in the lead up to Christmas, I'm not a fan of. It just reminds me of waste. It, every year, I just think so much waste is happening because of this stupid date that we've just arbitrarily decided has some kind of meaning and capitalism has, you know, barnacled onto. It's just a lot of consumption that does not need to be happening, ultimately. So the fact that stores, companies, businesses, everything attempt to stretch that out over like months is irritating to me. So December 1st, still too long, still way too long. <laughs> Magpies aren't the spawn of Satan. At most, they're that of his minions. Yeah, they're sort of a bunch of cunts. But they're only like that for like a small percentage of the year, really, which is considerate. If they were banging all year round, we'd have a very big issue. That's off. But for that small percentage of the year, the nasty pasty ratings are just off the charts. So I don't know. I don't think they're Satan's minions spawn. I think they might just be Satan's minions. Beyonce isn't all that. Now this, this I feel comes up every single time. Unpopular opinions are discussed in any capacity is that Beyonce is overrated or this or that. But either way, it is absolutely not up for debate. Beyonce has a phenomenal, absolutely like top notch, amazing voice, both technically and artistically. She just has an amazing voice. We're not about to debate that. It's a waste of everyone time it's just a fact however I don't listen to Beyonce that often if at all so I don't relate to the rabid fangirling of Beyonce so I can understand this comment holy shit it is 9 p.m how long have I been in this room while I'm sifting through comments that I can't read because I will get my channel banned I would like to take this time to say thanks to the sponsor of this video Surfshark Surfshark as many of you know is a VPN I've been working with them for quite some time they've been supporting this channel for ages Surfshark is a VPN that helps you to reclaim your digital security it encrypts your internet connection which can help prevent hacking and also avoid malware and phishing attempts, even things you might not expect or really know about, which is that some ISPs, internet service providers, they can collect and sell your data to advertisers and having a VPN helps to stop that. And if you ever use public Wi-Fi, that's like a gold mine for hackers. So having a VPN can secure your connection there. It also allows you to unlock streaming libraries from other countries, for example, Netflix in America or wherever else has good Netflix. It's usually just America. <laughs> and it's not just limited to Netflix either. And if you use my code Brienne Pass, you can get 83% off and an additional four months for free. On the middle tier that comes out to $2.90 a month Australian. So it's very, very affordable. All of that will be linked below. And thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Humans shouldn't feel innately more valuable than other forms of life simply because of our level of intelligence. We're animals too. We're single-handedly killing our planet. Not very intelligent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yes and no. I don't think humans are innately more valuable than any other animal on the planet because I don't think humans are innately valuable because they're not, nothing is. Nothing can hold innate value. It's just how much value is assigned to it by humans generally, unless the parrots are also assigning value to things, whether it's animals or humans or objects or minerals, metals. Gold has no innate value and yet humans assign value to it and it impacts so many different things. So no, humans shouldn't feel innately more valuable than any other form of life. And yes, just because our incredibly efficient brains as our evolutionary advantage gives us such dominion over the planet to the extent that we're also able to destroy it. I don't think that makes us more valuable. I think that makes us incredibly impressive. Impressive in the sense that like how how have we gotten to the point where we know so much about so many things? We have all this technology and development. We've left the planet. We've done all this amazing shit, but we don't have the foresight to not destroy the rock that is keeping us alive. But as I said, because humans are the ones assigning value, it is evolutionarily in our best interest to value human life over other forms of life. Because we're social animals, all we have is our brain and our ability to cooperate. And that's why we've been able to achieve all the stuff that we have achieved and even just live this long. So when it's literally 
in our makeup more or less to assign higher value to other human life and especially human life that's like close to you. You value like your, your siblings or your family's life more than some stranger that you've never met on the other side of the world. That's natural. If most people had the option to save a human or a mouse in some scenario where that would ever happen, most people would choose the human. So to say that people shouldn't feel more valuable than other forms of life is a bit, yeah, because you just do value human life higher than other forms of life. That's a pretty animalistic and normal reaction to have, but we should also have the intelligence to know that in the grand scheme of things, that's not necessarily a hard and fast fact. That's just an emotion that we're having. Basically, I agree with that little caveat that yeah, it's pretty fucking normal to feel that way though. Hummus is actually a very bland dip with an awful texture. I don't hate hummus. I'll eat hummus, but I'm not like frothing at the mouth, love hummus. And I can see exactly where this comment is coming from. Also, yeah, heaps of people agreed with that. As um, Sniff Paints so eloquently said, a lot of cunts agree. Technically fairy bread could be a pizza. Just ponder on that thought. Not something I really want to ponder on, but all right. What is a pizza? A dish of Italian origin consisting of a flat round base of dough baked with a topping of tomatoes and cheese, typically with added meat, fish, or vegetables. Does it have to have tomatoes and cheese? What exactly makes a pizza a pizza? And who, honestly, and also who decides what makes a pizza a pizza? But let's, no matter which dictionary you choose to use, you will always see three key ingredients in the definition, dough, tomato sauce, and cheese. Would that mean bar pizza with barbecue sauce is not pizza? If you swap out tomatoes sauce with something like barbecue or an alfredo then i'm sorry to say you technically don't have a pizza either don't know why this website is the authority on pizza but well look all i'm hearing is dough tomato sauce or really any sauce and cheese as being the qualifiers of what a pizza is also i'm seeing that pizza is most definitely a savory dish based on all of those factors fairy bread can't be pizza it's sweet there's no tomato sauce or any sauce there's no cheese fairy bread doesn't need to be pizza to be good fairy bread is amazing on its own i miss quarantine I, well i don't. Jump on over to America or England or pretty much anywhere in Europe. Actually, a lot of places in the entire world. And you can go have your quarantine. Also, you can just not leave your house. That's also allowed. You're allowed to quarantine yourself permanently, really. Sign language should be compulsory to learn in both primary and high school. There's literally no downside or negative to learning it. I don't think this would be an unpopular opinion. I think this is just something that the schooling system has not caught up with yet. But I feel like most people would be all for this. And yeah, great idea. Would love to know sign language. I attempted to learn one sentence once and it was very difficult. Waffles are just pancakes with abs. Who am I to argue with such a statement? We should have got a seven day free trial to life before being born. Absolutely, I would have canceled my membership. Don't wanna be paying $29.99 a month. Actually, you know what? It's way more expensive than that, turns out. Someone said we did, that's called childhood. I disagree, childhood was fun. The rest of it, it's all bullshit. Bisexual people exist. My mum said they didn't when I came out as bi. Unfortunately, maybe an unpopular opinion, but we should be past this as a species by now, especially because bisexuality has been around and has been recorded for quite some time. But no, some guy with a neck beard and an internet connection somewhere named Brent obviously knows better. I really, really hate SpongeBob. I really, really hate you for saying that. I don't hate you, I don't know you, but I'm really fucking sorry to hear that because SpongeBob is tippy top. Oh God, you'd hate the SpongeBob memes too. You, that would suck. There's no point to tests and exams. It's not about how much you know on a certain topic, but about how much information you can create. I would 100% agree on this. It's just an easy way to grade and like pool a, a big group of people really. But yeah, it's not testing your actual lasting knowledge of the topic. It's testing how well you can recall things at that one specific point in time. When I was at uni, I did a business degree and a design degree. And in the business degree, we did have to do exams and tests, obviously assignments, that kind of stuff. But in the design degree, there were no exams at all for the whole four years because it's just not necessary. It's more important to apply your knowledge to like a project, which is what we did all the time is like little projects. Like how can we practically apply the knowledge that you should have? And if you do have it, you'll be able to do this well sort of thing. Cornflakes are the most underappreciated cereal. I'm not even sure what cornflakes are to be honest, but I love them dearly. Cornflakes and milk just have that taste, more or less just the milk and a bit of crunch. Cause I don't f I love cornflakes. No, you're right. They are. Clothes are not gendered. I don't know why some people just don't understand that it's a piece of fabric. Yes, the whole concept is flawed and really, really weird. This is a men's shirt. In fact, most of my clothes are from the men's section, but it's on me. So it's a woman's shirt. Like it's, just, I, I am gonna use this as a segue into Riff, but before we get there, same with skirts, like centuries ago, men wore skirts, men wore dresses, kilts are skirts. High heeled shoes were initially made for men. And it's just culture and society that determine which sex wears what based on what's popular at the time. And it would be nice if people could acknowledge that and just go about their day. I genuinely don't think there's anything wrong with like some men not wanting to wear a dress because it's female clothing. Cause what that ultimately means is that if they did wear a dress, they would be different to the majority of men 
again. And if they're not comfortable or confident enough in themselves to do that, that should be completely fine. And it is. As long as you are not ostracizing and bullying and tearing down men who are confident enough within themselves and are comfortable to wear dresses or skirts or whatever it is, it shouldn't be a bearing on their entire personality or their masculinity or anything like that. What f***ing shape fabric they decide to put on their body. And on that note, this is the exact reason why I don't have a men's and women's section on my website for my clothing brand, Riff Supply Co. Everything is unisex. It's easy. It's done. I don't think you should have to go onto a website and be like, oh, I can't have this because it says it's in the women's section or I can't have this because it's in the men's section. Like it doesn't matter. It's a piece of fabric. It looks fine on everyone. With that being said, we do have these Save the Reef tees that are available at the moment. We're giving 50% of the profits to the Australian Marine Conservation Society. It's something I've wanted to do for a while and just wasn't really happy with the designs that I've come up with, but I'm really happy with this one. So the link for that is below and you can follow Rift on Instagram if you want to find out about new releases and discount codes and stuff like that. Dunlop volleys are way cooler than Air Jordans. I 100% agree. I miss when you can get volleys at Kmart. That's what we used to wear at school. Mm. Mm, maybe I should get some volleys. Well, thank you for that. Eating the skin of a kiwi fruit is great. Don't at me. No, I'm adding you. That is absolutely foul. It gives it more structure and texture rather than just being a mushy ball of green. Yeah, but now it's a hairy mushy ball of green. That's way worse. But you have fun. Have fun with that. Fucking gross, Cameron, but have fun. Teenagers are poorly stigmatized in the media. Yeah, teenagers get a bad rap. And I feel like every generation since the beginning of human history, that's probably been the case. Every generation that comes through more or less develops an issue with the younger generation. There was this thing I saw somewhere where people, when they were switching from like chalks and slates, to writing on paper, I'm just gonna have to show you. From a principal's publication in 1815, students today depend on paper too much. They don't know how to write on a slate without getting chalk dust all over themselves. They can't clean a slate properly. What will they do when they run out of paper? Awfully familiar to every single adaptation that young people have had since then. Sounds like the exact same argument that we hear with phones. Oh, kids don't read books anymore. They're always on their phones. Often reading books on their phones, but we'll leave that. It's the same argument over and over. This is, I think, I think is just an innate human thing that each generation sort of repackages and rebrands so it doesn't look like the exact same thing their older generation did to them. Aristotle, fourth century BC. They think they know everything and they're always quite sure about it. Young people are high-minded because they have not yet been humbled by life, nor have they experienced the force of circumstances. People have always bitched about young people is the bottom line here. This one's from a newspaper in 1938. Cinemas and motor cars were blamed for a flagging interest among young people in present day politics. He said he'd been told by people in different political parties that it was almost impossible to get an audience for political meetings. There were, of course, many distractions such as the cinema. Potato Chan says flowers don't even smell like anything. I think that's a you problem. I don't think that's an opinion. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with listening to Christmas music all year round. Wrong, wrong, shame. No, no, no. And I'm leaving it at that. We should have a real life purge. All right, Miss Friendly, probably not the best name for that kind of a comment, hey. Don't wanna run into you in a dark alley during the purge. Sleeping with freshly changed bed sheets doesn't feel good. I'm so sorry for that. If you can't feel the satisfaction of freshly changed bed sheets, I honestly feel real bad for you. It is possible for a straight dude to maintain a platonic relationship with an attractive woman, obviously. It happens literally all the time. The fact that this could be considered unpopular by some people is incredibly weird. Eating a kiwi fruit like an apple isn't weird. I don't know what is wrong with you people. You do you, mate. Enjoy yourself and your hairy green fruit. Flowers don't smell nice. We're only taught to think that they do. You and the other guy should hang out. Walruses are terrifying. Are you okay? How often do you really come in contact with a walrus? COVID was kind of a bop. I mean, COVID is still happening, just not here as much. Not gonna say I loved it, but it, it really wasn't the worst in Australia. Wind is just nagging, pushy air. Yeah, I agree. I fully agree. If you're already pissed off, wind will really, really just grind your gears grind every single one of everything that you own. If you're not pissed off, wind even then will ruin your day. Fuck wind. Get fucked. Even just thinking about it annoys me. Coffee doesn't taste good without milk and sugar. I drink black coffee, so I can't agree with this one. Alcohol should be yeeted. Partial to agree with this. There's no health benefits to it. Alcoholism accounts for way too many deaths directly and indirectly. It can ruin lives of the consumer and potential victims at times. It can turn people violent, reckless or suicidal. Long-term effects of excessive consumption act as a literal burden on society and the health sector. It's an unnecessary voluntary tax. I could go on for days. Um, yeah. I mean, how do you argue with that? That's true. All of that is a fact and a risk that a lot of people 
a lot of people take on, including myself, love to just tone my consciousness down quite a bit. What that says about me is, and I'm pretty sure the second that humans gain sentience, we have been trying to turn it off. And that is why alcohol will never be yeeted. <laughs> There's one that just says, I don't like sand. Yeah, fair, that's completely justified. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna cover today. There are some exceptionally weird comments as usual, because this is the internet. But we're not gonna put them in the video because I don't need airtime. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I give shout outs at the end of every video to people who subscribe and put the bell on. And also to people who follow me on Instagram and TikTok. YouTube shout out goes to Patty Tomlinson. TikTok shout out goes to 72AO. And Instagram shout out goes to Kmouse7. Thank you all for subscribing, commenting, supporting my clothing brand, just generally being nice or existing in this part of the internet at all. I'm gonna go wipe some of these from my memory and I'll see you in a few days with a new video. Oh,